What's up guys, Prodigy here, and welcome to episode 8 of Setup to a Showdown, where I read the setups you guys sent me and give my feedback. And if you want to submit your setup for the series, you can find a submission guide video down below. Now for today's setups, they're from Harrison, Manish, Alex, Mac, and Xander. Thank you for submissions guys, as I very much appreciate it, but without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now starting off, we got Harrison from Colorado. He's 14 years old and uses his setup for gaming and schoolwork. And judging from the picture alone, I think he likes the color purple. But getting to the equipment, he's rocking a beefy Asus monitor that's 27 inches, 1080p, has a refresh rate of 165 hertz, has a response time of half a millisecond, plus it has G-Sync. For peripherals, he's using a HyperX alloy keyboard along with a glorious Model O mouse. And when it comes to audio, he uses the Cloud Singer Core headset from HyperX. And now for his PC specs, he has a GTX 1650. A Ryzen 3 3200G, 16GB of Corsair Vengeance RAM, a 256GB NVMe, and 2 turbo hard drive all inside the NZXT H510 mid-tower case. So as of specs, they're kinda on the low end, mostly for the CPU, but I'm sure they upgrade soon in the future once PC part prices are normal. And now for the cable management of the setup, it's not really good as everything is messy and unorganized underneath the desk. Plus, I don't really like how the power adapter for his RGB lights is just sitting on his desk with cords around it, so I would recommend cable managing the cords underneath the desk and find a way to hide the cords for the RGB lights. But for his setup looks overall, I like how he has decorations around his setup as it does help make his setup stand out a bit more. And I did find it kind of interesting that he showcases his PC parts and gear by hanging pieces of their boxes on the wall, which I've never seen anyone do this for showcasing parts, but in a way, I kind of like it as it's sort of unique. But let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. But overall, I like how the setup stands out a bit more, but I would highly recommend fixing up the cables. Up next, we got Manish from Texas with quite a minimalistic setup. He's 14 and uses his setup for gaming, streaming, and a bit of schoolwork. But getting to the equipment, he's using a single 27-inch HP monitor as his main display. For peripherals, he has an RK61 keyboard with blue switches along with the glorious Model O mouse, just like the previous setup we showed off before. And for audio, he uses some wireless earbuds and has some Daiso mini speakers. But moving on to the PC specs, he has a GTX 1660, a Ryzen 5 3600, 16GB of DDR4 RAM, a 2 256GB NVMe and a 2 turbo hard drive all inside the H510 case, which I'm just now noticing that Manish has a similar PC build to Harrison's like we showed off before, but I prefer this one more just because of the better CPU. But now for the cable management, although the desk looks good, I'm not really a fan of how the cables are just hanging there, so I would recommend tying them all up so they bunch together or even just get a cable sleeve. And then I was wondering why there was a black poster board taped underneath the desk, and then I saw the reason. He pretty much tried to hide the clutter, which Sure, it is the easiest way to deal with cables, but I'm not really a fan of it since it's pretty lazy. But looking at the setup overall, I do like how minimal it is, but I would say that I don't like how he set up the RGB strips inside a PC, mostly because you're not supposed to be able to see the lights themselves, but instead they glow from them. Plus, I would recommend removing the Minecraft Creeper as it doesn't really fit the color scheme, but overall, the setup is alright, but I'm not really a fan of the poster board. Moving on, we got Alex from Florida with a nice purple and blue setup that he uses for gaming, streaming, and doing schoolwork like everyone else. But getting to the equipment, he's rocking a dual monitor setup with one 1080p 244Hz and then a 1440p 75Hz monitor. Moving on to peripherals, he has a Corsair K95 keyboard and for the mouse, using the Rocap Burst Pro. And for audio, he uses a HyperX Cloud 2 wireless headset and uses a Creative Pebble V2s as his speakers. And now looking at the equipment so far, I think it's pretty good, especially for the 240Hz monitor, but let's see what he has as of PC specs. So Alex is rocking an RTX 3080, a Ryzen 5 5600X, 16GB of Crucial Ballistics RAM clocked at 3200MHz, and a 1TB NVMe all inside a fractal design meshify case. So with all those specs in mind, it's pretty easy to tell that this PC is a beast, especially considering that he's only 14 years old. And although his PC may be on the floor, the inside of it just looks clean to me. But now, it's time to roast the horrible cable management. Like, bro, you didn't even try to organize anything. Plus, it just hurts my eyes that you have a 3080 PC build right next to that mess. So I don't think I gotta say anything more because everyone knows that you should organize the cables with a sleeve, a cable box, a cable rack, or even just zip tie the cables together. Also, I would probably recommend replacing your webcam or just fix it up because the tape isn't really pleasing to the eye. But overall, although this setup has good equipment and PC parts, the cable management needs a lot of work. Plus, I would recommend moving the PC from the floor to the desk. Now near the end, we got Mac. He's 15 
and uses this setup just for gaming as he submitted a console setup. And I'm not gonna lie, this is probably one of the best setups especially for a console user. But getting to the setup, he has an IKEA Linmon for his desk, has a GTR racing chair, has a 24 inch curved monitor as his main display, and then for audio, he uses the Astro a 10 as his headset and uses the JBL Extreme as his speaker. And that's really it as of equipment if you don't count his Xbox One. But looking at the setup, I'm a huge fan of the overall aesthetic from the nice lighting to his shoe collection. Which I don't know much about sneakers, but I can say that they look pretty cool. Not to mention that he has a collection of pop vinyls above his desk from his favorite movies and TV shows. But we're not gonna stop right there. The overall design and style of his room just looks cool in general. And you can tell that there's a lot of personality here from the basketball jersey on the wall, the Spider-Man poster, the music covers, and more. And I know I'm not the only one that finds Max's overall room to be super dope and just cozy overall. Plus, everything is super clean for his cable management and the setup is organized and everything else just looks well put together. But overall, I'm just gonna say that Mac has a pretty cool setup especially for a console player. And honestly, his setup could be argued to be better than other PC setups, so I definitely give him props for that. And then last but not least, we got Xander from North Carolina. He's 14 and uses his setup for gaming and schoolwork just like the others. But getting to his equipment, he's using a dual monitor setup with one 25 inch 1080p 165Hz monitor and one 22 inch 1080p 60Hz as his secondary monitor. And for peripherals, he's using a Red Dragon keyboard and mouse kit along with an extra large mouse pad. And for audio, he uses the XM8500 as his microphone along with the Behringer audio interface and uses Daiso mini speakers. And he forgot to mention what headphones he was using, but I'm assuming that they're from Edifier. But now moving on to his PC specs, he has a GTX 1660 Super, a Ryzen 5 3600, 16GB of Corsair Vengeance RAM, and then he has a 500GB NVMe and a 2TB hard drive inside the H510 case from N6T. So as the specs, they're pretty alright, as they're kind of just the same as the earlier setups that I showed off before. But now moving on to the cable management, it's actually kind of fairly managed underneath the desk, but I do wish the cables were tied up or just moved to the side a bit more. Other than that, it's pretty okay. But looking at the setup overall, I like how it's simple, but at the same time, it has some decorations on the shelves, including the showcase of the PC part boxes. But I would possibly recommend adding something to the desk like a Star Wars pop vinyl or something, just cause it looks kinda empty. Also, the desk itself looks quite dusty in the photo, so I would recommend that you keep your desk clean as much as possible. But other than that, the setup seems alright, but nothing really seems to stand out to me. But guys, that's gonna wrap it up for episode 8 of Setup to a Showdown. And I wanna say thanks again to everyone featured in this episode because this video wouldn't be up without you guys. And if you wanna submit your setups to be featured in this series, be sure to watch my submission guide video in the description and learn how you can enter. But I think that's gonna wrap it up, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, drop a like and subscribe for more quality content like this, cause I do love making videos like this one. Also, comment down below what you liked or dislike about the setups, and tell me which one was your favorite, as I know everyone will have their own opinions on the matter. So make sure you leave your thoughts down below. Also, if you love the content on my channel, I would highly recommend following me on TikTok, as I post multiple daily videos on there, similar to what I post on YouTube. So if you'd like to see daily content from me, I would highly recommend checking me out on TikTok. But anyways guys, thanks for watching, and be sure to have notifications on, so you won't miss any of my videos. My name's Prada J, and as always, stay classy.